Hello, my name is Jay, and today we'll be taking a look at some RAM. Now, if you're curious on why I've decided to do this part of the video first, it's because I want to see if this was possible. I want to make sure I could get in and get everything. Because previously, I tried to get into a processor, and well, while this had some truth to it, it really didn't work out too well. So, we're going to be doing some RAM, and that's why two of these modules are missing. I actually cracked these open. So this is a, a gigabyte of DDR3 memory. So, obviously, a gigabyte is now obsolete, especially DDR3. But this is pretty much the same thing as you'd find in your system back here, which is DDR4, well, my system is DDR4, pretty much anything like that. Now, I know this is a gig of memory, and before everybody goes, well, why are you wasting a gig of memory? First of all, it is obsolete. It is not no longer used. Nobody uses it. Um, the second thing I will say, though, is this was originally in the trash, so this is what this video has been using it for, recycling. That's one of the big things I'm about, is recycling things and, of course, using them for a good cause, or at least using them. And I feel like education for people to find out what's inside of stuff is a really good cause. Second of all, there's been some comments about my sunglasses. Um, these are uh, color buying glasses. Uh, allowed me to see some of the colors. Um, so, they're not really sunglasses. They're just indoor glasses. Um, my brother actually has the uh, sunglasses version. So yeah, and chroma glasses. Look them up. They're they're pretty cool stuff. Uh, but pretty much that is the. We'll be going over the inside of the RAM and seeing what you guys can you guys can see all the same stuff I saw as I went through it the first time. And of course you can see all the different components that are found in regular just RAM that's in your system. But without further ado, thank you very much for watching. Let's get into the video. All right, so starting off here, you can pretty much see that I'm just popping off the RAM modules. Um, this is actually kind of difficult. I was a little surprised at how difficult this was. Now obviously, you know, this is a old piece of RAM and I'm not too concerned about damaging it, which obviously I am going to end up doing. Um, and to do this, I kind of took a flathead screwdriver and just kind of peeled it back. And as you'll see right now under the microscope, you can see kind of what it looks like underneath, which that's what I'm trying to go for in this video, is just to show you guys kind of what's going on uh, below right now. And as you can see, there's a lot of pretty much what you expect in a standard RAM module if you've ever seen what these look like before. And that's pretty much underneath the microscope. You can pretty much see I'll adjust it real quick and you can see um, basically some of the stuff that's kind of still got left on there um, when I ripped it off and stuff. Now obviously if you're repairing RAM, I wouldn't recommend ever doing this. Um, it's kind of really stupid. Um, but you can really see some of the cool stuff. I'm going to pop up the second module now that I know what, kind of what I'm doing. And uh, you can kind of see right there that I'll go through and I'll pop that off and uh, you'll see just kind of what's going on underneath there. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to crack one of these suckers open. So in order to do this,